action. All right, so we're back with another seafood mukbang. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that means we're back at it again with another one. With another one. Yeah. Dude, so welcome, guys. Yeah, we've been, uh, I think we said on the last mukbang that we've been uh, fiending for some sushi, so here we are. Yeah. You guys didn't vote. We put up a poll for you to vote if you wanted in and out or sushi. I wanted sushi. He wanted in and out. We you see who won. You <laughs> didn't vote, so I had to make the decision for all of us. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> but a good decision you made. I mean, this looks uh, pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. So what do we have? Well, I know this one, right? So we have the uh, the rainbow roll over here with... Uh, hey, what, this so, is the rainbow roll. Oh, this is the rainbow roll. Yeah. So this has the, the salmon, the avocado, the tuna, and the white tail. Yeah. <laughs> the yellow tail. Uh, yeah, yellow tail. <laughs> Not white tail, yellow tail. What's a white tail? Where did you get that? I don't know. I don't know. It's a standard rainbow roll. Right. Um, this is called the fresh roll, and it has uh, salmon, cucumber, onion, and a ponzu sauce. Ponzu sauce. Yeah. Ooh. And then we got a spicy, crunchy, spicy, crunchy salmon roll, and a spicy tuna roll, and some gyoza for dumplings. Cool. So now, excuse us while we get a thumbnail. <laughs> In there. <laughs> All right. Hey! 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 <laughs> Whoa! Did you see that? Got to go on the attack. All right. So, you think All we got right. one? I hope so. Alright, cool. Should we, should we do, do, do another one? No, we're good. Oh, wait, let's take one with the G7X. We can edit this out. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, we don't need that one. Are we videoing? Oh, that one. Wouldn't this be a cool view to have over here? Sure. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, oh, I can't show that. <laughs> <laughs> Can't show you behind the curtain. Okay. All right, let's see. What are you eating first? Man, I'm going for this uh, not rainbow roll thing. The ponzu sauce. The fresh roll. Yo, they did not give us wasabi. It's lacking. We really fail. like wasabi, too. That is such a fail. And usually, well, I can't really say usually, but usually I have wasabi in the refrigerator. Because we like it so much, but when we moved across the country, I had to like mm -hmm. get rid of all of my condiments. Oh, your non-essentials. Well, anything that, you know. <laughs> they picked up our stuff in June and we didn't move in here until September, so there was no way that like ketchup in the refrigerator was going to last. Or wasabi, or and I'm all, I'm constantly thinking of like things that things that you typically buy and last a long time, like capers or I don't know, oyster sauce. Did you say capers? Yeah, <laughs> I'd be looking for capers, man. <laughs> <laughs> like a villain on some capers. <laughs> I'm looking for capers like a villain. I love capers. Do you like them? I mean, I'm not like crazy for them. Like, they're <laughs> cool whenever they appear, but. Capers are bomb. I don't even think about them. I do. They do. Oh, man. Alright, this one is the spicy tuna. It's one of my favorites. Classic. I feel like whenever I go to a new sushi spot, I have to try their spicy tuna. That's like the metric by which I judge everything else. Is that this one? Mm-hmm. And this is spicy? Mm-hmm. I always like the spicy crunchy. I know, that's why I got this one crunchy. Because you always say, get it crunchy. Yeah. Did you tell them where we got this from? Nope. It's a secret. No, just kidding. Sacramento secret. Sushi. It's a place called Makuni. Home with a Benjamin roll. I almost got a Benjamin roll, but then I was like, let's be real. You don't really like eel. Oh, no, I think the Benjamin roll is pretty good. 
Oh, they're doing a little great. This is so good. I think it's really good, yeah. How often do you guys eat sushi? Is it often? <laughs> Not that often? I think we eat sushi like at least once a month. Yeah, we eat it. We ate sushi a lot more when we weren't on this diet, dietary mm. restriction. Because I could eat sushi probably like once every two weeks at least. Say every seven days I have the sushi. Sushi binge in me. Yeah. I was going to say every week, but I was like, that's kind of extreme. No. Well, let's try out this rainbow roll. Oh. But the thing is, uh, with the diet that we're on, we can all, we would have to get sashimi, so just like pieces of raw fish, and so that kind of gets expensive to like satiate you, or him, because he eats a lot. Of the foods, yeah. Mm -hmm. It would have to be like a lot of food, a lot of fish. Savage portion. There's um, an all-you-can-eat sushi place in... What is that? Sea Sun City? Fair, fair, something? Where I don't know. City? Where is that? I don't know. Somewhere between here and the bay. Hey. I used to go to this uh, all you can eat sushi spot with my mom and my uncle Neville mm -hmm. in Secaucus. Mm. They had a movie theater over there. It's really good. And they had the crab legs, but you too quick. Whenever you can get, um, like, all-you-can-eat crab <laughs> or, or something like that at a buffet, quick, yeah. you got to go for it. I remember once I went to an all-inclusive resort, and now I can't really think of where it was. In the Bahamas, maybe? Mm. And anyway, so, you know, you can go to a restaurant um, every night, and it's just, like, different things every night. So the first night we get there... I guess it was like seafood and we just see this table of guys and they just have like shrimp piled on top of each other and like they're just going in on crab legs and we we're like all right that's a little extreme but like we just got here we're just you know feeling it out but that was the best night obviously because the food was just like really really bad <laughs> the whole time and we're like oh now we understand when they like finally had the good night people just were going mm like going in like trying to get their fill but I feel like a lot of all-inclusive like I'm not really for that I'm not really for that food mm. I guess it depends I went to a uh, all-inclusive place in Cozumel Hotel Cozumel um, but it was like you know no frills mm -hmm. but the food was all authentic Mexican food it did nothing but authentic Mexican uh, food and you drink drink food yeah see I could go for that <laughs> the drinks also, but I was referring to the Mexican food. Oh, no, I got I heard that. I knew exactly what you were talking about. Yeah. So, you know, I was happy. I was happy with the Mexican food. Yeah. Are you guys excited for the solar eclipse that's happening on Monday? What do you feel about it? I'm excited. Earlier in the year, we like had intentions to actually go north so that we could see the total eclipse. It turns out it's like a 12-hour drive. Yeah, we'd have to go really far. I Before I, we lived in Sacramento, I always thought of like Northern California being like nor north in the country it's really not <laughs> the whole there's whole like other a stretch. lot of Oregon and Washington to get through um, so yeah it just didn't work out for us to be able to go but wish we could shout out to Alex he'll be up there <laughs> A festival that we really wanted to go to. Yeah, what was the name of it? Oregon Eclipse. <laughs> <laughs> I have to 
there's an aptly named yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How cool would that be? Like rage. Oh, that's all I wanted. That. All I wanted. But you know. Instead we're investing all of our money into making videos. <laughs> Which is not not a bad trade off, but we will have gone to no festivals this year. Um, yeah. And I think that's I, intense. it's my first time not going to a festival during the summer since 2010. <laughs> so maybe I needed a break. Maybe not. I don't really know the schedule around here, do I? Things come up and then they pass. <laughs> so what's in the news? It's so hard to talk about like hot topics on this channel without getting political and I really have no desire to like have political conversations here. <laughs> But, man, <laughs> it's hard. A lot of stuff. Steve Bannon's out. Mm -hmm. I said we didn't want to get political. I'm just thinking, like, what are the SNL people going to do? Because, uh, like... <laughs> you know, they have no, like... Sean solo. Spicer is gone. That was some, <laughs> some brilliant comedy. <laughs> Spicy. <laughs> She was like throwing all the gum into her mouth and then ramming people with the podium. <laughs> <laughs> Good old SNL. Yeah. And I don't know. I don't know what else is going on. Which new adopter? <laughs> the usher case. <laughs> I don't know. Have you guys been following this Usher drama? I think he said um, that he did not have sexual relations with that, the woman who appeared at the press conference. But how could you ever know? I mean, Which one was it? You know, the one that was at the press conference with Lisa Bloom. No, I'm not sure I know what you mean. <laughs> well, if you saw the press conference, you would know. Mm -mm. There's only one woman. Oh. Um, mm. What'd you look like? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a bean popping out. <laughs> and a, uh, what is it? bean. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. If you're not following this whole Usher drama, um, apparently, well, this happened in like 2012, but he settled some lawsuit, um, it paid out a woman who accused him of transmitting the herpes virus to her without disclosing that he was infected, which is against the law, um, especially in California. And so he paid her out, and then it was quiet, and no one ever knew about it. And then I think it was Radar, Radar Online, uh, found, found out about it and published the court documents or the transcripts from court. And then a whole bunch of other people came out saying that they either contracted the virus from Usher as well, or they were exposed to it because they had unprotected sex with him like during that time period after he was diagnosed. It was a while. <laughs> so that's the whole story. So now there's like a bunch of people suing him, and who knows if it's a cash grab, who knows if it's true or not. But it seems to me, Milton has been going in on this fresh roll. See, he distracts me by getting me to talk about something, and then he just shovels <laughs> sushi into his mouth. Mm. But it seems to me um, as though if he were not the perpetrator of this crime, it would be easy to present a test that would clear him of the, the allegations. What kind of test? STD test. Oh, I gotcha. Er, 
for sure. Yeah, but no, all so right. it seems like I wouldn't, bands. I wouldn't pay out a million dollars if it was not me. And but his we'll court see. documents have been verified. He's like legit, or yeah, yeah, very legit. And as it as it turns out, the the woman that he paid out was like a bridesmaid in his wedding, in his wedding to his first wife. So, yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Into them while I'm sitting here alone. <laughs> <laughs> But Milton doesn't want you to know the truth. No one doesn't know. Right. So periodically, when we're shooting these videos with like multiple cameras, uh, Milton will have to pop up. Someone. <laughs> one will have to pop up and make sure that they're still running and press record because they only record for a certain amount of time. And then they shut off and you don't necessarily know. You have no idea. <laughs> until until you go to edit and you ain't got no footage. You have no clue. Dang, look at this. He then ate all his soy sauce and now I see his chopsticks coming over here. Oh, if you pass me the Kikoman. Kikoman. Yeah, if you're wondering um, if you should get a digital SLR or a film camera, it really <laughs> depends, you know? Because if you get, you know, an actual video camera, there, there's no recording. <laughs> it just records and it keeps recording. Yeah. But then you have a video camera, and just a video camera. Do you want that? Is it as portable as you'd like? Can and I use digital SLR cameras? <laughs> a lot of a lot of variables. I like the SLR route. Yeah. Can be good. I mean if you're making a film, I wouldn't make a film with <laughs> SLR as almost like a yeah, too. So I got these chopsticks in Japan. You sure? Mm -hmm. I bought mad chopsticks when I was in Japan. And I just realized that I have like a couple of pairs that aren't even open yet. Oh, cool. Yeah. I went to Japan the first year that Milton and I were dating, mm -hmm. when we first started dating. That uh, beginning of the year in January? Mm -hmm. Just December, January? By December. Um, so for a while, my mom, my younger brother and I were going on trips every Christmas. So we would either leave like on Christmas night or like the 26th, and then we would go like stay over New Year's. So we went to, the first year we went to Dubai and Abu Dhabi, and the second year we went to Australia, and the third year we went to Japan. We flew into Tokyo and stayed there for a couple days, and then uh, a very, very dear family friend, shout out to my Uncle Mal. Oh, Mal, Mal, Mal. Um, he lives in Kakegawa, <laughs> which is like out in the country. He owns a bar and a restaurant. What's it called? Like, uh, Mal's Place. So if you're ever there, go check, check out Mal's out. Place. <laughs> go check him out. And shout out uh, Danica. Well, not Milton. Just shout out Danica. <laughs> I'm sure he knows you by now. He's active on the internet. Um, so we went there for a couple of days, and that was awesome. And then we went to uh, Osaka, Kyoto and Osaka, and then we flew home. And I loved it. I absolutely loved Japan. I came back with a, with a mean yakitori habit. Yeah, we got obsessed with yakitori. The jet lag was so brutal. I've never been so jet lagged in my life. And it was just like so hard to adjust. 
just to the time period. So by early evening, we were just wiped out and we would just knock out and then what? These things keep like flying out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to it by now. <laughs> um, then like one night my brother and I woke up and it was probably like one o'clock in the morning and we're wide awake. We're like, all right, let's go. So we walked out, found like, uh, of course, I'm like a big planner, I'm a big like researcher, so I had some spots in mind. Found this late night yakitori spot. Yakitori is like uh, skewered items, like mostly meat, but they do vegetables and, and stuff as well. Um, and it's cooked over a grill with a special kind of charcoal. And it's kind of like a, like pub food, like Japanese pub food. So we got that and then we became obsessed with it and we got back to the States. We would like find, like look up yakitori spots and like try them all out, like all over New York and New Jersey. Was that one in New Jersey called Yakitori 47? It's some kind of number. I think it's 39 or 49 or something. Oh yeah, 39 sounds right. Something weird. Yeah, it's something like that. We like it. Mm. We like it a lot. Well, it's great because, well, it's great for me. This is also the reason that I like tapas. Is like, I would just like a little bit of food at a time. So it comes out however it comes off the grill. So whatever takes longer to cook or shorter to cook, like they just bring it when it's ready. So they might bring like two or three skewers, like drop it on the table. And then you can finish that and like sit and talk. And then whenever the next step is ready, they'll bring that. And that gives me, like, just enough time to recover. <laughs> yeah. Me, I'm like, you guys see me. <laughs> Keep my foot on the gas. <laughs> yeah. No, you know what? I think when I lived in New York, I probably ate sushi once a week. For mm -hmm. sure. But you can have it like, really nearby. Anywhere. It's fresh. Mm -hmm. It's quick. The only thing I don't like about it is that it's got a time limit. You know, you can't like refrigerate it. You know? Mm -hmm. You can't like order sushi in bulk and right. <laughs> preserve it. That's why I rarely want like sushi supermarket sushi unless they're like making it right there because once the rice gets refrigerated that's it financially it's so want. hard you know <laughs> that ain't what you want right. so you've got one of each lot find yourself spicy <laughs> you know I'm getting full I'm pretty much full. This is a lot, dude. That's a lot. It is a lot. Though, if these were 4 by 4s I'd probably be on my second 4 by 4 I could power through number 4. Wait. It's happening, guys. In and out. In and out challenge. How did you... You just said you'd be on your second one, and then you could power through number 4. <laughs> what about number 3? I powered through that. Oh. I unlocked another gear in Connor. You know what I mean? <laughs> Another level. If you guys think that Milton can do this in and out 4x4x4, four by four by four, I don't know. Do Spam nothing. Team, do nothing. team Milton in the comments. <laughs> See, look, look at how many believers there are. <laughs> <laughs> shout, out to, you. <laughs> shout out to you, Milton, in the comments, guys. When I show you guys this uh, <laughs> un, unfinishable uh, potato that this guy in Conor tried to, tried to stop the Milster with. Oh the weak little potato and barbecue crushed it, dude. Absolutely crushed it. It was amazing. We'll see. I mean, you did crush that, but... And that's pure carb. Okay, so the only person I've seen do the 4x4x4, in and out 4x4x4, is an, a competitive eater who has won the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest in Coney Island. It's like him... And then no one else. And yeah. my husband thinks, <laughs> with no type of competitive eating background, that he can just enter the game Jordan. and match it. And match it. Shot Steph, Steph Curry. 
That just doesn't make much sense now, does it? Well, protein style. This is uh, without the buns. Wait, I'm so confused about what this is. You took the uh, the shrimp, uh, the oh right, off the top. it was the rainbow roll. But yeah. I'm like, what is this crab? I didn't think that. Like, there's that. more right here. There's some that fell over. Oh. Do you want that? No. Mm. You should put it on. Uh uh. Mm -mm. Mm. Maybe I could start with. Uh, no, no, I'm good. I'm good. I want you to have your experiences. I'm not the biggest fan of that either. I would like much rather take that over okay, that. Okay, take that. Okay. There's like way, way too much going on with that. <laughs> it's confusing and stuff. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hmm? I think I'm done. I think I'm gonna have to drop the chopsticks. Oh man. Drop the chop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks like we're done here, guys. This was good. It's wraps for that. Yeah, this was fantastic. Very delicious. Definitely satisfied that rice craving. Oh, man. Thank you so much for tuning in uh, today. And always, guys, uh, got to what was it, 124 subscribers today. Yeah. Yeah, dude, if you guys really like this stuff, if you kind of like it, even if you don't like it, smash the subscribe <laughs> button, <laughs> give us some likes, and uh, come check us out. Yeah. Till next time. Bye. Bye.